he know with a jolly laugh he's got to be Martha just said Santa Claus is coming from Africa he's not coming with the reindeers he's coming with the horses and the goats Of the turkey when you roast it. Wow. Okay. The bomb if you have Delicious. Then I put um, mimita because you know you got to Ethiopian it up, right? <laughs> Some spice to it. Mm, that is the best with a little bit of fresh, um, you know, like the breast or something with the, with the white meat. That's the best thing. Or the, the whole trimming is when the kids are around. So when my nieces or, or something around, then I do that. I think um, the best time was like getting this uh, customized ornaments. You know, you can get a picture on there. Um, you know, can represent. You know, have uh, names on it. So that was always fun. And get you know, like we would take turns. Me and my sisters, like you know, getting something special as an ornament that reminded you of you know your family or something funny. Um, so that's always good. And then, you know, I think, yeah, honestly, the movie pastime, that was also a big thing, um, along with, uh, you know, like making fudge. I remember one year my sister made, um, or a few years, she used, to, she used to make, my middle sister used to make fudge for, like, her um, teachers as a thank you. Yeah, yeah, she was a, she was a good student. Um, <laughs> but it was something that I learned to do. And, um, you know, just, again, brownies, cookies, doing something fun. And that was gifts, like when you didn't have that much money, you know, back before, you know, credit cards and all that stuff. So, um, and people really appreciate it. I was really surprised, not just kids, but, um, or teenagers when you gave it to your friends, but how much actually adults really appreciated like a homemade thoughtful gift. And that, I think in times, uh, the homemade stuff that I made, like photo frames and things like that for all the teenagers out there who feel like, oh, I don't have that much money. Um, those went a lot further and were always remembered by, by adults and kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I think we should all be appreciating and grateful for being alive today, honestly. There's been so much change so rapidly, um, and there's just so many folks that have not made it this, you know, um, past couple years. And, um, and so the holidays, you know, do, I do want to recognize because there's been a lot of loss um, in my family and my friends and their family that it is difficult, you know, if, it, if this is your first time, um, you know, without your loved one. Um, so it can, it can be a trigger for um, many people. And so just want to encourage uh, folks to, you know, um, hold people near. Um, and, you know, remember, even me, like, you get so busy like everybody else, like on their day to day that you don't even take time um, for self as well as take time to reach out to others because this might be a really, you know, uh, difficult time. Um, but yeah, I think that just just a lot of gratitude and appreciation um, for some of us who've gone from one point to the other in a very short period of time. Just you know, um, as a as a mentor once told me, um, once you get so far in a path, um, sometimes we're frustrated. You're not as far as you wanted to be, like you know, by the end of the year. But then you can look back and see how far you've come, right? And I think that that's what the end of the year really can do for us it's an assessment of okay where did i say i wanted to go what was i thinking but then also it, you know not to just stop at being frustrated but to push yourself to go further and excel but then also to be grateful like wow i'll never go back to what i was back then yeah yeah